Hello everyone, my name is Chiwendo and in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make a dress with a tie just as you can see on the screen. The making of the gown is so simple, so we're going to be concentrating on how to achieve the tie on the neckline. If this sounds like what you're interested in learning, keep on watching and let's get started. So as you can see, I am done making this gown and I have turned the neckline with the facing, okay? So the only place you're going to turn for this dress is just the V neckline, just as I'm showing you right now, okay? And after that, you're going to go ahead and join the shoulders of this dress and then you can go ahead and fix the sleeve, okay? Even without fixing the sleeve, you can actually fix the tie first of all before going ahead to fix in your sleeve, okay? And you can see that the sleeve is a pop sleeve. So what I'm going to do first, the number one step I'm going to take is measure around my neckline, okay? Starting from the V cuts. So I'm going to measure it from one end of that V neck to the other end of it. And that is what you can see me trying to measure. So after I measured mine, what I had was 19 inches. Now I'm going to bring the fabric I'm going to be using. Of course, I'm using the same fabric for this. So I'm going to cut out a rectangular piece, which I'll be using to form the tie. So first of all, what I'm going to do is go ahead and fold my fabric into two. Remember that we had 19 inches. So 19 divided by two is 9.5 inches, right? So I'm going to fold my fabric into two, just as you can see me trying to show you on the screen. Now, after this, I don't have a straight line right at the damp part. So I'm going to try and get a straight line. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and measure out what you're going to be needing for forming this neckline, okay? Which is the tie. So guys, um, I'm going to divide 19 inches into two and that will give me 9.5 inches, right? So from the center fold of this, my fabric, I'm going to measure 9.5 inches. Now, after that, I'm not going to measure the length I want my tie to be. Okay. So this part of 9.5 inches is what is going to be placed in between the V from one end of the V neckline to the other and this one i'm trying to measure out right now is what is going to be tied okay i hope you understand so from this 9.5 inches i measured 25 inches extra okay and now i'm going to be measuring the height of my collar okay let's just call it a collar because yes that is totally a collar it's just that you're going to tie it on the neck okay so right now i measured out 4.5 inches that is going to be the height but it's not going to be the total height okay this is the height when not on fold okay so i went ahead to cut out this 4.5 inches from the damp part of my fabric as you can see and now i'm trying to cut it out okay now once i'm done cutting this out i will show you what next to do all right, this is totally very simple. So at this point, you guys, if you haven't hit on the subscribe button, please do well to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. So now after that, I'm going to notch the center. Remember the folded edge is going to be the center of the neckline, okay? So now I'm going to fold it into two like this. Now, before I fold it, I'm going to go ahead and fold in half an inch on both ends, okay? Right at the upper part and the damp parts before folding it into two. So, you guys, you can see, now that I'm done folding in this um, half, half inch, what is remaining of me now is 1.5 inches. I hope you guys understand. Remember, I had 4.5 inches and I folded in half, half inch, which is I removed just one inch and it remaining three inches so if you fold it into two you're going to have 1.5 inches okay for the height now i'm going to go ahead and fold this back into two again and then i'm going to cut out the edge so that it looks like that of a belt i hope you guys understand so that is what i'm trying to do right now so i'm going to do this one after the other now from the edge i'm going to coming by one inch okay right on the damp parts i'm going to measure in one inch 
and then i'm going to slightly cut it out just like this just for this my um tie to look like a belt you know how the edge of the belt looks like so that is what i'm trying to form after doing that for one side i went ahead to repeat the same thing for the other side and now i'm going to turn it right side facing each other and then i will go ahead and stitch it up just like i'm showing you okay so you can see the way i'm trying to turn it over and i will stitch using just quarter of an inch okay so i am done stitching it and this is what i have so i'm going to turn it inside out and then i'm going to make sure that i use my scissors to bring it out completely because some of it might be inside okay so try as much as possible to make it very pointy okay so that it looks like um belt head okay so i am done with that and you guys you can see this is what we have so now the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and fold what i have into two again and after folding it into two i'm going to take the middle as the middle part of my neckline okay so i'm going to place a mark right there with my chalk all right already i have a notch right there if you take a look at it properly you will notice there is a notch which we made initially after that next i'm going to place my tape on the notched points and then i'll mark out to the left 9.5 inches and then to the right 9.5 inches as well now after doing that for the upper parts i'm going to repeat the same thing for the damp parts now this area that i'm trying to mark out is what i'm going to sew into the neckline okay and the remaining part is what i am going to tie to the neck i hope you guys understand so i am done marking this out next thing i'm going to do is bring in my dress and i'm going to fold my neckline into two and then notch the middle of it okay so this notched area i'm going to sew it into the notched area of my tie all right so now what i'm going to do is ensure that the right side of my tie is facing the wrong part of my dress okay so this is how i'm going to be sewing it into my dress you can see i'm trying to use my pins to pin it all around okay from one end of the 9.5 inches mark to the other end of the 9.5 inches mark why the notched area remains the center i hope you guys understand so after pinning this up i'll move over to the sewing machine so that we can stitch this up together it is quite very simple okay just stick with us and you will continuously enjoy this particular tutorial so guys right now i am on my sewing machine the next thing i'm going to do is start stitching this okay so my first stitches is going to start on one end of the v shape okay which is where i also have my 9.5 inches first mark okay you can actually start from any part of this so i'm stitching this up with just half an inch which is the half an inch that i folded in on this side okay now after stitching it from one end of the 9.5 inches mark to the other end of the 9.5 inches mark i'm going to go ahead and top stitch and you guys remember that to stitch this you're going to stitch following the wrong part of your dress okay so my first stitches is made on the wrong part of my dress and i'm going to top stitch to the right part of my dress okay so i'm trying to remove the pins because i am done stitching up the tie on the round neckline now go ahead and cut off your thread you don't want to leave your thread dangling on your dresses it is not a neat finishing when you leave your thread dangling on your dress please do make sure to cut it out now that i am done i'm going to go ahead and top stitch so you can see what i'm trying to do okay so just make sure that the 9.5 inches right at the upper part aligns with the 9.5 inches right at the down part okay so that is what you can see me trying to do and to stitch this up you're going to have to stitch on the round neckline first before stitching up the remaining part of the tie okay so guys i am trying to top stitch right now so i will top stitch from one end of the v 
to the one end of the other V, as you can see me trying to do. So if you are finding this difficult, make sure to use your pin to hold it in place while you sew. Okay, that is exactly what I did because this is a crepe and crepe stretches a lot. You guys know that. So ensure that you work with your pin. Your pin is very essential when sewing as a beginner. All right. I might be able to maneuver it. But if you want to do this as a beginner, make sure you are making use of your pins. So I have finally gotten to one end of the V. I'm going to now completely sew the remaining part of the tie as you can see. So this is just one part of the tie. After sewing up one part of the tie, I'm going to also move to the other part and complete it. Okay. So you guys, I have gotten to the end of this part. I'll now flip it over and complete the other end. Okay. So you guys, you can see that this is quite very simple. All you have to do is keep looking at this screen. Follow my explanations. It is very detailed and you're going to understand exactly what I have just explained. Okay. So you guys, you can see. This is exactly how to form this particular collar on the neckline. Okay, tie, collar, anyone you want to call it. It is that simple. I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. If you do, please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Now, I'm going to take this over to my sewing table so that we tie it for you to see exactly how to go about this. You can see that this came out so neatly and the inspiration we are looking at is exactly the same thing as what we achieved. So guys, we'll call it a day. This is where... We'll be ending this tutorial. I hope you find this helpful. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it so that more people can get to see it. And if you haven't hit on the subscribe button, please subscribe. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.